Hello students, I am Dr. Anita Sharma. Welcome in my chemistry class. In my last video, I explained phase rule and terms related to phase rule. And in this video, I am going to explain phase diagram of water system. So without further ado, let's begin. Physical chemistry, paper 202. In this video lecture, I am going to explain phase diagram of a water system, which is also known as one component system. This is phase diagram of water system. Here we have taken water system. Water system means all three phases of water in equilibrium at what temperature, what is triple point, uh, what are the curves, what is the meaning of components, everything we will learn here. So uh, before starting water system, we have to see here two axes. This is y axis and x axis. At x axis we are taking temperature and at y axis pressure. Here in water system, we will see curves first. So what are the meaning of curves and how many phases are there in equilibrium. So you can see here in water system, we have three curves. This AO curve, AO. Second, BO curve or OB curve. And third is OC curve or CO curve. So main three curves first we have to see. And all three curves are meeting at a particular point. This point is also no, uh, we have to understand is called triple point. And we have to see some areas also. This is one area. B, O and C. Area and here one phase is exists that is ice. Solid phase. Another area C, O, A. So in this area you can see only one phase is existing that is water liquid phase and third area b o n a and in this area only water vapors are there so what we have to learn here is first thing is b o curve and or o b curve so at this curve how many phases are in equilibrium and, and what is the meaning of this curve so at this curve b o curve two phases two phases of water are in equilibrium that is ice and water vapor so if ice and water vapor are in equilibrium this curve is called sublimation curve because when solid is directly converting into gaseous phase then that is called sublimation so here at this curve two phases are in equilibrium solid and gas so ice and water vapor that is why bo curve is called sublimation curve here oc curve or CO curve. At this curve, water, the uh, water solid phase and its liquid phase is in equilibrium. So, if solid is converting into liquid, that is called either melting or this curve is called fusion curve, OC curve. So, first BO curve is called sublimation curve and this is called fusion curve. And third curve is OA curve and at this curve two phases are in equilibrium that is water liquid and water vapors means liquid and gas. That is why this curve, this particular curve AO curve is called vaporization curve. So three curves are there in water system. First is sublimation curve, second is fusion curve and third is vaporization curve. So since uh, uh, two two phases are in equilibrium at each curve what will be the degree of freedom that we will calculate. Third, uh, second thing that we have to see, a point where all three phases exist or we can say is in equilibrium. This point is called triple point. At triple point, liquid, solid and water vapors all are in equilibrium. So at triple point, what is the temperature here? We can see 0.01 .01 and pressure. So at this point, three phases are in equilibrium. So what could be the degree of freedom? That also we have to calculate with the help of formula F is equal to C minus P plus 2. And three areas are also there in this curve. This C, O, B area where only one phase exists. C, O, A area where only one phase exists that is water. And A, O, B area where only one phase water vapor exists. So 
if only one phase is there then what could be the degree of freedom when three phases are in equilibrium then what could be the degree of freedom if two phases are in equilibrium what could be the degree of freedom that we have to calculate with the help of formula f is equal to c minus p plus 2 in this uh, phase diagram one more uh, curve or line you can see ao that is called metastable curve that also we have to discuss and one thing this critical point so what is the meaning of critical point critical point means uh, the point where this system water system ends means after this temperature 374 and this pressure 218 atmospheric pressure all three phases will be indistinguishable means the system will not be continue after this temperature and pressure now we will see one by one areas uh, how many areas are there so in phase diagram three areas that we have seen cob aoc and aob that i have already explained and in each areas uh, only one single phase is exists so degree of freedom is 2 we can calculate degree of freedom f is equal to c minus p plus 2 so component since it's a one component system only one phase is existing so p is equal to 1 and plus 2 so the degree of freedom 2 so in area system is bivariant in curves three curves we have seen in our uh, phase diagram so ao curve vaporization curve bo curve sublimation curve oc curve fusion or melting point curve in all uh, curves two phases are in equilibrium so if we apply formula f is equal to c minus p plus 2 so component 1 because water system is one component system two phases are there plus 2 so at all the curves degree of freedom will be 1 third thing is uh, a triple point so one triple point is there in water system and at that triple point three phases solid liquid and vapors are in equilibrium so at triple point degree of freedom will be zero that you can see by applying this formula f is equal to c minus p plus 2 so here it is degree of freedom zero and uh, matter stable equilibrium that we have also seen in our phase diagram that is uh, a o uh, curve or OA dash curve actually so in at the meta stable equilibrium what exactly happening is a solid phase is not converting into vapor that time instead of solid phase super cooled liquid is converting into vapors so instead of solid vapor equilibrium there solid cooled liquid liquid vapor equilibrium established and this super cooled liquid instead of Okay, so that equilibrium is called meta stable equilibrium this uh, system at once revert to true uh, stable uh, system true stable system is solid to vapor that should be sublimation curve but it is not sublimation curve at meta stable equilibrium the vapor pressure of meta stable phase is always higher than that of stable phase at same pressure so this is all about water system and phase rule these are the references thank you